We had a guy uh, contact us about having loop springs on his mid-century chairs replaced. Um, so I looked around for a while, found a place in the UK that makes them and sells them, and we got them ordered in. And so I'm going to show you guys how to install them. I, you know, I, I haven't really found any uh, substantial information out there as to, you know, how, how this is done, other than a video that the company has on their website. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it, and uh, hopefully it helps out people who are replacing their own. So we start off by, you know, cutting it to length. And the way that you know what length to cut it at is you actually measure from the top of the arc here to the top of the arc here. And you know, the, the, the distance that it is short allows you to kind of stretch it in place. So I have it marked on my bench what size we're gonna cut it. So we're gonna go ahead and get going. check the ends of these because sometimes you get a little burr the spring kind of comes up a little bit and you want that to be kind of flat or at least as flat as you can make it so I'll go up underneath that last spring and get under it just cut that away a little further down Cut away this extra stuff. You take these little pieces that come with it, they're sort of like little lag bolts, mini lag bolts that actually screw into the spring itself. This is really neat. Get it about half and half like that. And you take this other end, make sure that this end is kind of cleaned up, make sure it's going to be able to go onto it. And since you can't just twist it on there, uh, because it'll back twist itself, the spring will kind of back twist it. You start by back twisting it. They say four to six times. I found that it's maybe needs a little bit more. So once you've back twisted it a little bit, put them together and you let the spring, you know, uncoil and twist itself onto that middle piece. And so now you have your loop. Uh, and I have a few of these other ones cut. And so now we're just gonna pop them in place and we'll be good to go.